Thank you so much for joining us this Friday evening. I'm Kevin Dorn. Lindsay is off. Developing tonight, two people are hurt after a small plane crashed in a park right next to a middle school in the Southwest Metro. Take a look at your screen now. This video shows the plane losing altitude and going down around noon today in Shakopee. It crashed in Scenic Heights Park right next to Shakopee East Middle School. This, by the way, just west of Canterbury Horse Track and north of Highway 169. And the park, as you can see, is surrounded by homes and businesses. And new tonight, we can show you the flight path of that small plane. According to FlightAware, it took off from Flying Cloud Airport in Eden Prairie and then headed southwest, and then makes several turns and loops and appears to be going back to the airport before crashing in Shakopee. Brittany Ehrman's been all, on scene all day. She spoke with neighbors who live nearby, and she joins us live now with the latest on what happened. Brittany? Kevin, it appears this plane is with Thunderbird Aviation. It's a flight school in Eden Prairie. We saw people from the school in polos picking up things that were inside of the plane. Now, right now, you can see there's a crew here uh, picking up pieces of the plane to try and get it out here. We saw people cutting it apart. Uh, they got the fuel out of it, and now they're removing it from the park. And we spoke to people all day who say it's remarkable that the pilot landed in that area with homes nearby, kids, uh, people walking their dogs, and a school also nearby. And again, neighbors telling me they're grateful it landed where it did. For an airplane that crashed in a kite park. Dash cam video shows this small plane coming down, headed straight for a neighborhood. The pilots knew what they were doing, you know, so not to hit in the house or people on the trail or in the park. Chad Petrasky was walking his dog when he saw the plane nosedive out of the sky. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like I said, I, I, I didn't think it was real. Around 1230 this afternoon, the Shakopee Police Department says the plane crashed at Scenic Heights Park. You could tell right away he was in trouble because of the, the plane doing this and, and the way he was, you know, the way he was maneuvering. That something was going terribly wrong. FAA records show the plane is a twin engine Piper plane, a model mostly used for flight training. It's kind of scary because, I mean, it easily could have, you know, come up on the road here or anything closer. You know, there could have been kids in the park. Feet away from a bike trail, pieces of the plane scattered the ground with a branch stuck to the tail as if it clipped a tree before the crash. Some East Middle School students saw the plane go down right outside their classroom window. I got a text from my one son uh, that he said, Mom, don't be scared, but a plane just went down outside my room. A close call for this neighborhood. It could have been a lot worse. And the two people inside of the plane are in the hospital and we're still working to learn the extent of their injuries. But witnesses did share with me they appear to be conscious when the plane uh, landed. And again, there are crews that are working to get the plane out of here. So cutting up parts of the plane, you can see uh, the plane connected to that truck here. And the NTSB is investigating the cause of the crash. Live in Shakopee, Brittany Ehrman, 5 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Brittany, very much.